Hi booktube, Lynette here and in this video I'm going to do another book tag for you and that is the Goodreads tag. Question number one is what book did you last mark as read on Goodreads and that is Reunion in Death by JD Robb. It's book 14 in her In Death series and it's a series that I've been reading one a month uh, for the last 14 months um, to try and catch up hopefully um, by 2024. Question number two is what book are you currently reading? I'm actually currently reading two books because I'm reading historical fiction novels and I'm struggling a little bit so I've got two on the go just to try and keep me a bit more interested. Uh, the first one of those is The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. I'm about three quarters of the way through this one and it's about the building of a cathedral and the politics surrounding that. Um, it's the the backdrop to the story is also um, the uh, fight for the throne at that time because we didn't have an official heir to the throne after the last king died. Um, so there's politics surrounding that and there's politics surrounding the rulership of the church and it's been interesting, it's been disturbing um, and I'm looking forward to finishing it. The other book that I'm reading at the moment is Dragonfly by Leila Meacham. This is an historical fiction novel set during World War II and it's about a group of five um, early 20s men and women who are drafted by the American Secret Services to go into Paris and be spies. Um, one of them is captured and one of them is killed and it's about how that happens. I am about two thirds of the way through and I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would um, but I am worried about these young people and I'm at the point where we're building up to them being captured, one of them being captured and one of them being killed and how all of that happens and, and how it goes wrong for them um, and Yes, I'm thoroughly enjoying it and I'm looking forward to hopefully finishing that in the next couple of days. Question number three is which book did you most recently mark as to be read on your Goodreads pile? And that book is The Private Rehearsal by Lauren Blakely. It's a romance novel. I don't really remember anything else. I marked it as to read back in December and I haven't really looked at it since. So I don't really know. Um, uh, because I'm on a book buying ban, I'm trying not to add books to my to be read pile uh, so hopefully I haven't added any more to it since that date. Question number four is what book do you plan on reading next and that is The Girl on the Midway Stage by Deanna Cameron and again it's another historical fiction this time it's more romance than it is um, historical fiction it's although it's romance centred I'm hoping it will be a quick light read. Um, it is the final book that I need to read for February. So to, to finish off my TBR, I don't think I'm going to finish my February TBR. Um, hopefully I will. Like I say, the, the two books I've got on the go and this book are the three books um, that I haven't finished. I only had four books on my TBR and I've only finished one of them. Question five, do you use the Goodreads star rating system? Yes, I do, um, but only because I started before I even really thought about star ratings. And I'm just one of those people that now I've started it, I don't want to stop. Um, I don't necessarily think it's right. I think they should allow us to do half stars um, because quite often I do. But Amazon's exactly the same. And, and like I say, I own a Kindle, so most of my books come from Amazon. Um, and again, they don't let you put half stars in either. So I I yeah, I think they're I think they're all I think any star system is flawed because unless you specifically set out what you think the star rating should be. So if you're setting up Goodreads, if you're setting up Amazon, if you if you're gonna say one star means you didn't finish it, two stars means you've read it, but you're probably not gonna remember it, three stars means you enjoyed it, but it's not gonna be a reread for you. Four stars, you loved it, you'll probably reread it again sometime. Five stars, it's an absolute favourite. And that's pretty much how I do my star ratings. Um, then I think you shouldn't have a star rating on your website. You need to set out what the purpose is of those star ratings. 
if you're going to get people to use it properly. Question number six is, are you doing a reading challenge for this year? Um, I'm not doing one that's been set out by any other booktuber or Instagrammer. I am continuing the in-depth read along. It's one that was started last year in 2020 and that's to read one in-depth book a month, which I am doing and I'm doing really well with it. Um, because they're great reads and they're, they're lasting me really, really well. Uh, but other than that, no, I'm not doing any read-alongs. Um, I have set myself a challenge to not buy any books this year and to try and bring my reading, uh, my to be read pile, down by at least um, the same, by at least twice as much many books as I buy. So I'm supposed to only buy uh, 24 books this year. So I want to bring my TBR pile down. So I want to read 48 books this year at least. Question number seven is, do you have a wish list? No, I don't. Um, I have on Amazon because that's where I tend to get all my books to anyway, because they go on my Kindle. So I have wish lists on Amazon, but I don't on Goodreads. Um, I don't tend to add them to Goodreads until I own them and I'm reading them. Question number eight is, what do you plan on buying next? And that next will be the next book 15 in the In Death series and the next book once we've decided what we're going to read for my book club in March. Other than that, I don't plan on buying any books. None, none, none. I'm on a ban. I've broken it twice. But I'm on a ban. Question nine, do you have any favourite quotes on Goodreads? No, I don't tend to use it for that. I find the site a bit cumbersome to use. I tend to only use it just to record the books I've read, the dates that I started and finished them, and that's it. Um, I don't really, unless you could turn it into a social media platform, um, a better social media platform where people could chat um, better, uh, like Instagram and Messenger, you know, some form of Instagram and Facebook and all of those. Yes, um, I probably would use it more, um, but no, I don't use it enough for, for recording things like favourite quotes. Question 10, who are your favourite authors? Um, Robin Hobb, J.R. Tolkien and Kay Bromberg. And question 11, have you joined any Goodreads groups? I was in a few groups, um, but because the site is so cumbersome to use in that way, it's not really user friendly in that way, I've left them all. Um, some of them I was in because they were hosting monthly and yearly reading challenges, which at that, the time that I joined them, I was looking for that. Um, some of them were fandoms, um, but I'm not really up to speed with the books that those fandoms are for anymore. So I've left them all and no, I'm not in any groups anymore on Goodreads. So that was the Goodreads tag. As I do with all my tags, I'm going to leave the questions in the information box down below. So if you want to have a go at doing this tag, then please do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please do subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye.